Let's see these two practical ways to use the Blur tool in Photoshop to highlight a subject and to hide confidential information. To get this tool, go to the left toolbar and click on the drop icon here. Of the three options, let's select the first one. Photoshop works with layers. Before starting, make sure to select the right layer. A beginner's mistake is to start working with the tool but not select a layer. As you can see, now the cursor is a circle which represents a brush. You can modify it with a right click or by clicking on this small arrow next to the circle icon here. First thing you can modify is the size of the brush. By sliding the cursor to the left, you are diminishing the size. By sliding it to the right, you are increasing the size. Below, you can modify the hardness of the brush. A brush can be either hard or soft. A harder brush will have clear and defined edges, but a softer brush will have blurry and less defined edges. Using this image as an example, let's start using the blur tool. Keep clicking and start moving your mouse wherever you want to apply the effect. In my example, it's around the main object. You can increase or diminish the size and hardness of your brush to affect the area where you want to apply the effect. Also, you can modify its strength by typing the percentage you want here, or also by sliding to the left to diminish or to the right to increase the strength. Now let's use the blur tool to hide private or sensitive information. We pass the brush through the section we want to blur and modify, if needed, either the size, its hardness, or strength. Do more ideas come to mind where you could use this excellent tool? Don't miss our video about another tool in Photoshop coming soon. Burn to Learn is working to help you understand the changes in technology as they happen. Stay in the know. Subscribe today.